Hello students, welcome back to the next video of Digital Communication. Myself, Kunjan Mittal Roy, in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering in GEMTEC, Greater So, in the previous video, we have completed the sampling process, which is the first step of a PCM system, where we have discretized a continuous time signal into time domain. We have sampled, we have done sampling process to discretize the signal. Now the next step after discretizing the signal in time domain is to discretize the signal in Y domain which is the amplitude discretization and this particular process is called as quantization. So my video, today's video is on quantization. So, uh, as I have told you just now that after discretizing the signal in time domain, we have to discretize the signal in amplitude also and this process is nothing but quantization. So, in analog digital conversion, in order to have quantization, firstly we have to pass the signal through a sampler circuit. And sampler is nothing but a multiplier or a switch through to which the analog signal to be digitized is applied along with a discrete pulse train. So after the signal passes through a sampler circuit, it will go to a quantizing circuit. This is the basic analog input signal which has to be converted into digital. So, the quantizing of an analog signal is done by discretizing the signal with a number of quantization levels. So, basically what we do, we discretize the amplitude by defining the different steps or values or amplitudes to the particular signal. It will look like this, something like this. So, in the blue uh, lines, the blue lines are showing, this particular blue line is showing my analog input signal and over this we have shown the red steps and these steps are showing us the this quantized signal and for each quantized level we have defined a particular code. In fact, for sampling values of 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, we have got different codes. For example, for sampler, uh, sample uh, value of 0.1 approximately, we have a code of 0110. Similarly, for the sample value of 0.2, we have a code of 100. So, if we consider each sample and for each sample, we have to look at corresponding values of amplitudes or corresponding values of the codes, these codes or values will be taken as our discretized or quantized output. So, uh, this is basically done by defining these steps. Now, the discretization of the amplitude or quantization is done in two ways, which are uh, uniform and non-uniform quantization. In case of a uniform quantization, the step size remains uniform or constant. Means for every, the space between every two steps remains same. Whereas in case of non-uniform quantization, the step size varies according to the uh, requirement of the signal. So here we will be first considering the uniform quantization technique. And here the uniform quantizer are of two types. Number one, mid rise, and number two, mid track. These are the graphical representations of mid rise type quantizer and mid track type uniform quantizer. Both are uniform quantizer, that means both have uniform step sizes. But the only difference is that in case of a mid rise quantizer, the change in the amplitude is started at the origin at y axis. That means from uh, minus 0.5 to plus 0.5. The very first step changes at origin starts from minus 0.5 uh, at y axis to plus 0.5 at y axis. Whereas, or you can say if the steps are taken of two uniform uh, 
uh, amplitude of uh, the amplitude value of 2 like 2 4 6 8 in that case it start from minus 1 to 1 at y axis but for mid thread type uniform quantizer the quantized value changes from minus 1 to 1 at x axis that means at the very first uh, uh, output level of quantized signal at origin the output of quantizer is minus 1 to 1 ranging at x axis so this is the basic difference in the outputs of a mid rise and mid thread type uniform quantizer so both of them are equally good and uh, any method can be used depending on the requirements. So for any system during its functioning there is always a difference in the values of its input and output. The processing of the system results in an error which is the difference of these values. So basically uh, we uh, observe a kind of error in quantization process and this error is known as quantization error. Basically this error is observed if we consider that the particular sample value is showing some different value and we have taken the quantization value at a particular quantization level only. That means the sample value may lie above or below the quantized level but we have to take the quantized level closest to that sample value. So there may be a small difference within that step range and this difference of the amplitude is known as the quantization error. For example, if suppose my amplitude uh, is taken in the uh, form of uh, decimal numbers if I take the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on and at a particular sample my amplitude is lying at 1.4 or 1.5 then for 1.4 and 1.5 value of the amplitude there is no code. So the code is present either at 1 or at 2. So I will be taking any of the codes between the range 1 and 2 to consider the closest value of 1.5 or 1.4. So if I take, say if I take the value 2 and uh, my code, uh, my sample is at 1.5, so the difference between the two, the sampled value and quantized value, the difference of the two is known as the quantization error or quantization noise. So this is the biggest problem by uh, using quantization. In the process of quantization we have a biggest drawback which is known as the quantization error. Now the quantizer is a logarithmic function that performs quantization rounding of the value uh, under the uh, analog to digital conversion. So these are the original and quantized signal and the next graph is showing the quantization error. It is a type of quantizer, uh, quantization error which usually occurs in analog audio signal while quantizing it into digital. So quantization error is most common type of error which occurs while quantizing an analog signal. For example, in music, the signals keep changing continuously where a regularity is not found in errors. Such errors create a wide band noise called as quantization noise. So this is the most simple kind of noise while converting analog signal into digital in the process of quantization and this error is called as the quantization noise or quantization Error. So with this I would like to wind up my topic of quantization in this video. Thank you so much.